Cloisor. Welcome to episode 52 of the Calon Yarns podcast. My name is Lynn and I'm coming to you from Cardiff in Wales in the UK and this is a knitting, spinning, sometimes crochet, sometimes dyeing but always fibre based fortnightly podcast. And I say for fortnightly podcasts and I apologise before we even start because I missed last weekend. I, I know you were all probably thinking well where are we? What's going to happen? How can our weekend possibly function? Uh, without my podcast so I do apologize um, yes apologies I am a week late but I will fill you in on why that is nothing dramatic uh, at the end when I chat a bit more about what I've been up to so yes if you are a new viewer welcome thank you so so much for joining us and if you are a regular or returning viewer as always thank you for coming back and spending some more time with me um, and to everybody I really really appreciate you kind of stopping by and seeing what I'm up to and sharing your thoughts and comments with me down below so please do that uh, and the the outpouring of loveliness for last week's last times episode episode 51 where i finally revealed our kitchen makeover was really really lovely so thank you so much it was quite an event anyway it's taken six months for it to happen so it was so lovely that, that you were all interested and thank you for your very very kind words now we've got some sort of lorry reversing down the road so i do apologize if you can hear the beeping um so yes thank you for that and please do get in touch as I say, you can find me as Calon Yarns on Instagram and social media. Is this a parcel for me, I wonder? I don't think so. I doubt it. No, not for me. Um, I've got enough parcels to show you at the end, which brings me on nicely to what have I got in store for you today. So I have uh, two works, three works in progress. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of them being hand spun, two of them being uh, shop bought yarn. I've got some um, acquisitions to show you and a lovely gift to show you. So yes, bits and bobs to go through today. Um, I apologise for my hair. I have been to the hairdresser this morning and you know it's like we've been to the hairdressers and when it's freshly cut it just can't, doesn't do what you normally like it to do. And yes, as my mother would say, you look like you've been dragged through a head backwards. So uh, why backwards? I don't know. I don't know why backwards. Dragging through a hedge is enough. Why we need the direction of the dragging. I don't know. So yes, I do apologise. Um, so what have I been knitting? So the first thing I've been cracking on with is my Zweig sweater <clears throat> by Caitlin Hunter, I think. I shall put it down below. Uh, and this is out of the, the light green, the spring green colour is some of my own hand dyed. And this glorious section oh, uh, of the lacy pattern is a, oops, is it not going to focus, is a Fru Valborg and it is um, borderline, I believe. The colourway is in her high twist merino nylon. Shall I see, I've got the the ball left and it is such a beautiful colour there's more than this left but um, yes I had to cut this little section off which I shall explain why in a second so these colours are so so beautiful um, yes so I am really really loving this this is my second Zweig I wear my first one a lot um, but I've had to kind of alter uh, needle gauge needle size etc so it's kind of affected my row gauge which means that I was trying to add rows in the middle here. Um, and for some reason, I don't know why, uh, I kind of added rows on the green section between the lace and the stripes here, the, um, the columns. And so all of a sudden it looked like the two were disconnected. So in my brain, I had always decided that I was gonna add any rows I needed in the column section where you wouldn't see it. So why I proceeded to do it here, I don't know. So I got all the way past that section, all the way down here, and then realised it just didn't look right. So I had to pull back the whole thing um, and do it again. So there we go. You live and learn, but I really, really like it. I don't know if you can see the kind of the detail of the lace section. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So yes, and I think with the... With this yarn, with this colourway, it's it's such a lovely one to knit because each time you go round, you're kind of adding uh, a contrast colour because it's quite uh, the the colour palette is quite contrasting as you go round. So it's so lovely to kind of see the new colour come through the new stitch. Um, 
Yes, and I'm really glad I went back and changed that bit because I wouldn't have been happy with it. And it's funny because I think um, Lynn of maybe 18 months, two years ago, would have just thought, oh, it doesn't matter, I'll leave it. But it was niggling at me already, so I'm so glad I went back. And I think that's what I'm doing more of now, is going, no, it doesn't look right. There's something not right with it. If you don't change it, you'll always see it. And um, so, yeah, I have gone back and changed that. And uh, yeah, if you're watching Carol, my friend Carol is uh, just, it has to be right. So I've obviously been spending too much time with you. Um, but yes, so that is ticking along nicely. I really, really like that uh, bright green. I'm not really a green person ordinarily, but I think um, it matches in with that color of the borderline really well. So now we're at the round and round stage, but I think I've got enough of the Fruval ball to probably add a little bit at the sleeves. I was, I was thinking about replicating this sort of section where it, it's slightly kind of V-shapey, uh, these sort of pyramid shapes. I might add that around the sleeve section. Um, there is also in the body of it, in the pattern, in the actual pattern, uh, like a little sort of um, a cable cross. It's like a little star. Um, I did a couple of rows of it on my previous vibe, but it was just too fiddly uh, and I couldn't be bothered. And I did one round with it on, on this, but it just, I don't know, I think because maybe it's a high twist yarn, it was really prominent, whereas my, with my other one, it's singles, merino singles, and it sort of fades into the background, but it was just looked a bit too obvious and probably because the, the yarn is quite bright as well. Yeah, it, it didn't look right, it didn't look nice. So again, I had to go back a few rows, rows to take that out. And I'm glad I did once more. So yep, uh, just ticking away on that round and round stocking stitch, which is always good. Oops, TV knitting. So I'm gonna pop that back in there. Look, I've got a green jumper in my green hide and hammer. What's going on? Spring has definitely uh, overtaken me. Um, so that's one thing on the needles. The other thing on the needles is just a simple pair of vanilla socks um, in an opal colourway. I don't know, I haven't got the uh, tag. Um, it will say party on it, but it isn't party as we know. can't remember what that is, it'll be a number somewhere. I'll find it for next time. I shall be on them for quite a while, so I shouldn't worry too much. Um, so yes, just a nice little sort of stripy sock um to kind of keep in the bag so that when i'm out and about i can kind of tick away on that one so that's that and then the other thing i have on the needles really oops I put that away is um my hand spun project so this is the sneffold shawl by fiber tails and this has been something that i have spun up so these are the colors i'm doing it out of so these two, Jacob Black, Jacob Grey, no, Jacob Black, Jacob White, Norwegian in the grey, and then I think this is a merino silk blend with, it's got these kind of um, little bits, what do you call them, neeps are they, bits, bits and bobs in there. So it's got a really nice texture to it. So this is the colour uh, color palette that I'm doing and it's an interesting pattern I'll put a picture here uh, to show you what it's going to look like because it doesn't look like it at the moment but it's a shawl that you knit in the round and then you stick into the triangular shape so it's really interesting construction haven't done anything like that before so I'm just hoping my hand spun will hold together through the stick but yeah so this is what I've got so far so you kind of create this funny little hat shape and then the steek section is this section here eventually. So as I start working and adding the other colours, I'll start to checkerboard this steek section. But I've just done these little bobbles. And you see, we're going to uh, uh, focus. So yeah, so these little bobbles are happening. They're really sweet and really uh, a nice contrast in the orange. So yeah, but the only thing with it is the... The chart and the pattern is not overly clear. I think you, you kind of get the gist. It's one of those patterns. You sort of get the gist and then whether I'm not reading the chart right or I just haven't got the headspace for it or I don't quite understand what I'm supposed to be doing. But there is, there is a little bit of winging going on. 
I have to I have to be honest and thankfully Becky from Back to Blighty who is also knitting this shawl she's winging it too a little bit I think so yeah so that's okay so as long as we kind of get the effect that we're, we're going for all should be well but there is there is a little bit of winging going on um but there's no problem with some judge and fudge category is fine so yes that one is a uh, I need to follow the chart and concentrate one so it isn't one that I pick up particularly often at the moment and it's really warm it's really beautiful today um maybe not for the whole weekend so it's it's a bit sticky in the hands when when your hands are a bit sweaty um yes so that is all my projects on the go really um and now for a couple of acquisitions so um I did do the pre-order. I'm not going to, no spoiler alerts, I'm not going to open it up and show you. But yes, I have uh, received today from Yarn and Yarns, which is a local to me yarn shop, uh, the liner 52 Weeks of Shawls. And it says at the back here, uh, 52 Weeks of Shawls is a unique look into contemporary shawl knitting. And I've seen some of the, the sneak peek uh, posts on Instagram etc and there are some beautiful shawls in here so I shall be sitting down I've only just opened it out of the package so I shall be sitting down with a cup of coffee later on and having a little muse with that absolutely no business getting it buying it I've done one pair of socks out of my 52 weeks of socks book um, so but yeah, they're just such beautiful, beautiful books and a great opportunity to kind of celebrate uh, 52 different designers as well, really. So that's very nice. So I shall enjoy flicking through that later. So I won't go through it now because I know that um, they're only just arriving with people. and I don't want to give any spoilers away, although there have been lots of pictures now on Instagram, etc. Um, so I shall enjoy flicking through that later today. Um, I'm going to reconfigure my table and get back to you. So, yes, we gathered some stuff on the table. So I have a fibre subscription to Nellie and Eve, which is a Welsh natural hand dyer. Uh, and she does a fibre club <clears throat> as well as a yarn club and also has some beautiful one-off skeins and mini skein sets, etc. that you can purchase. So uh, I have her fibre subscription. And that, well, it arrived with me last week, but I haven't been able to get to the post office to pick it up because there was no one at the house to accept it. So I just wanted to show you what has arrived. So as always, beautifully packaged. And look at these colours. I have had a sneak peek. Oh, aren't they just the cutest? Really, really lovely. And I think... Um, this will be going on the blending board, I think, to kind of uh, blend up a little bit. Um, this is 100% Beulah Speckled Face from West Wales, UK. So there's her little, um, can you see yet, her little logo. So we've got this colour, we've got this sort of, uh, I'm not sure what sort of colour you'd call it, maybe a, a corally colour. Um, salmon maybe so that's called a natural red and via viola and then there's also the two colors in a sort of oops, in a sort of braid as well that comes in the the club <clears throat> so isn't that gorgeous really really lovely soft colors and i think the thing about natural dyed yarns and natural colors is that they all sort of blend together so beautifully so yes um when will i get to spin it Mm -hmm. As soon as I haven't spun last month's club, <clears throat> no time soon, I don't think. So, excuse me a second, I'm going to grab a drink. And then the other thing I had, which was a huge surprise and is very, very lovely, but uh, my lovely friend Maud, who is in Denmark, a while back she sent me a message and she said, Oh, I've got some hand carders that I'm, I'm never going to use would you like them which was just incredibly lovely and generous of her so yeah so she sent me the, those along to me um, a couple of months ago with some lovely uh, English language knitting books etc that I have been pouring through um, and I had another parcel from her today which is uh, ridiculous thank you so much Maud if you're watching but this beautiful uh, soft almost kind of um, 
well very similar actually to this sort of viola shade here uh, a grey lilac-y soft lavender maybe um, colour and it is um, a silk merino design club seems to be the Mm, sorry, the camera went off then for some strange reason. Um, yes, so uh, a lavendery kind of shade, silk merino. Haven't seen this before in the UK. I haven't seen this before anywhere really. So it it feels very very lovely. Um, quite a light, light. Mm, what would you say? Light fingering maybe, maybe a lace weight. Um, Hundred grams. Uh, yeah, so I'll have a little investigate of that later. Thank you so much. And then also some sweets, which are always nice, and chocolate and some salty licorice, which I love. And then a bag of these sort of little, excuse the rustling, a bag of little sort of fibre tops, fibre bits and bobs, like a massive bag of these to kind of look through. So blending board heaven, literally. Um, let's have a look at some here. So look, these little kind of bits of fluff in a bag. So thank you so, so much. There is hours and hours of joy in there. So I shall definitely enjoy exploring that later on as well this weekend. It's a bank holiday weekend for us. Happy May Day, by the way. It's May the 1st. Um, so yeah, so a couple more hours to, to chill and spend fiddling with bits and bobs of this stuff this weekend I hope yes so really generous thank you so much Maud that is very very kind of you and um I can assure you there will be hours and hours of entertainment there um but in terms of everything else I really think that's it I, I don't really know where the weeks go to be to be perfectly honest with you the kind of time sort of flies um yeah so if you are leaving us here that's all the the fibery bits and bobs so i will put a little link here to a previous video if you'd like some more fiber stuff um but life catch up really so yes as i said last weekend was a beautiful weekend weather wise um so we decided and the um the lockdown was slightly lifted uh, in terms of who you could meet up, where you can go. It's kind of slowly being eased in the UK and Wales. So we were finally able to, to go across the border and uh, meet up with my son, who's in university in his final year of in, in the university. So we went down to see him on the Saturday and uh, took him out for some food because obviously outdoor dining is open now. Um, so yeah, that was really, really lovely and the shops were open so we did have a little wander around the shops for a while as well which was just joyous, haven't really done that for a long time. So it was really nice to see him and we met his new girlfriend. So that was nice, she was lovely. Um, it was the first one we've been allowed to, you know, communicate with so that's exciting. Um, so yes, yeah, so it was really great to see him and on the Sunday then we had my brother and his family came over because obviously now they can come and be outside in the garden and as I say it was a gorgeous weekend so so yeah they came home over and spent the day with us which was very very lovely to see them haven't seen them for a long time either not sure when really um, we bumped into them in the park once but I haven't really seen them much for the last year um, they don't live far away from us only about 20 minutes the other side of Cardiff but it's nuts isn't it with the restrictions etc and life and work and and family commitments it's been it's been a long time and ordinarily we would see them at least once a month. We always kind of meet up for, for lunch or food or whatever. Um, once a month, so that's been a long time coming. Um, and then what else has happened? We're back on campus in university, so that's really nice to, to see the students in person, finally. Um, and it's fantastic, they've got, we get tested twice a week uh, on campus. Also, the vaccination centre is, is also in one, some of our buildings. So it's a really busy campus again, which is nice to kind of see people and see the buzz and great to kind of get the students through the end of term because we've only really got hmm, five, six weeks left uh, before, before yeah, before they've handed in their last piece of work. We've seen the last performances and uh, it's just marking and getting ready for next September. Oh my goodness. So yes. That has been very, very lovely. Um, but other than that, that's sort of all my news, really. Uh, plans for this weekend, as I say, bank holiday weekend, so we'll do a bit of stuff in the garden. We've still got builders here because um, we have another room that needs to be plastered, so 
yeah, they're like family now, honestly. Uh, I think we're going to be, you know, the, the next of kin, I think. It's crazy. So, yes, so they'll be back and forth over the weekend. Um, but it's not supposed to be nice all weekend, which is a shame. So, some chilling and spinning and knitting time, I hope. So same to you guys really, I hope you've got some nice knitting plans this weekend, uh, apologies for the week's delay in getting the podcast out to you, but have a splendid weekend, uh, keep well, keep safe, and I will catch up with you in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Diolch Pau, bye.